Hello, welcome back to CG Blend, and today we'll talk about um, bringing Photoshop images to Flash and how to properly get the images with their effects and transparencies into Flash. And here's a little example. Uh, this is an improper way of bringing images with transparency or with glow effect or with a shadow. And this is a proper way, and I'll show you how to get these results. Okay, so uh, first we're going to go to Photoshop and build our file. Uh, to build that file, I'm just going to create a new document. And um, here I'm going to put a little bit of color on the background. And a little bit of gradient. And possibly even a little bit of texture, barely visible. So there we go, we have a little bit of a background here. The next thing I'm going to do is put a shape um, on the next layer, and that's going to be right there. So shape is filled with white, and that's exactly what we need. We're going to lower the opacity here to about 80%. Okay, And I'm going to alt-drag a copy of it one copy and the second one. So one of them I'm going to apply a glow effect, outer glow. And I'll make sure that you can see it on the video so I'll make it quite big here. And the second one is going to be a drop shadow. Again same deal here, make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see. So as you can tell, I have a lot of transparent pixels going on, not only just in the shape, but also outside the shape in these two cases. And I want to show you what um, what's the danger of not bringing them properly into Flash. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file. Test 2. I'm going to go into Flash and start a new document. And save that as test 2. And I'm ready to import the file from Photoshop. I'm going to go File, Import, Import to Stage. And here I'm going to find the test 2. There it is. I'm going to hit Open. This is a background. I do want to include that. These are the shapes, and I have choices here for each one. If you look at them, this has a choice of bitmap image with editable layer styles or a flattened bitmap image. Uh, these have editable paths and layer styles versus flattened bitmap image. So for the first round, I'm going to enter everything as flat image just to show you the problem with that. Okay, I'm also going to select flash layers here, place layers at the original position. And set stage size so we can see everything on the stage. I'm going to hit OK. And it may look somewhat OK, even though right away you probably see this. But try moving these off the grid. And you will see that that white, the transparent white, is no longer transparent white. It is actually a pink color. Uh, here, in addition to that, we also have the glow wherever as far as the glow spreads that's being actually taken from the background the color so it does not rep recognize transparency here's the same problem with the shadow it does not recognize transparency it actually um, takes a flat picture what it sees so to speak so we'll save this file and then we'll re-import those same graphics with a different method so the same file import it again Except for here, I'm not going to import the background anymore, we already have that. And here, I'm going to choose Editable Paths and Layer Styles. Editable Paths and Layer Styles, and here, same thing. Okay, I'm going to hit OK here. And once those are brought in, you will immediately see that there is no problem with the effects on these. So, that's the important thing, that we have this here. 
that's pink, even when it's over the gray, here we don't have that problem. And obviously these two you guys can see that um, the glow here is completely ruined. There is a nice glow over there. So uh, if you click on this image, it's just a bitmap. However, if you click on this image here, it's a movie clip. And if you go inside, you will see that there are several layers to that movie clip. The actual shape and the outer glow. All right, so each shape will have that. The shape and the shadow. Right, so that's how you bring the effects in from Photoshop, anything that has to do with transparency. Thanks for watching CG Blend and have a good day.